there guys, Starsky Cap Gaming here, and welcome to another video inside of my brilliant world. I'm talking about my brilliant world, you guys won't actually be seeing much of it today, because we're not going to build a new shop, or anything like that. We're actually going back down to my mine. We're not going on a mining trip, you see, having this mine inside my house is kind of, well, it doesn't look too nice. I've decided I'm going to build some more down here. You know I've got this enchanting room down here. Where I've got like all my bookshelves and stuff. Well, actually that enchantment table's pretty lucky. I, want, I remember once enchanting an axe. Like a stone axe and I got fortune on it. Anyway, here I've got my mushroom farm. I think what you have to do is just like stand AFK here. And then just wait for the mushroom to spread. But I'm not going to do that right now. Anyway, this is what we're going to be working on today. This is going to be my secret base. Of course, I'm going to put an iron door on it, just not right now, since there's not really much to protect. But, anyway, I'm going to have lots of different rooms stretching off from it. This is going to be the entrance room. I think I'm going to do this first. In fact, I'll go and make that iron door now while I remember. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I've been going on, you probably haven't, I did not notice this. I might have not told you already. I've been going on a bit of a mining trip, as you can see. I've got quite a lot of iron here. So, iron doors aren't really a problem anymore. There we go, let's put that four iron back. I've got a few things on me that I might need for it. And I can finally make iron bars without having to worry about what, what will happen if I do. Like, am I gonna... Should I make iron bars? It looks like it's just about night time. So, I could sleep, I guess. Well, I'm not... Actually, no, I am going to go sleep, because I was one, there is a part of my house that doesn't have a door. For some reason. I think my shout-out club. I really need to get a door for that place. But, I'll do that outside of a video, since it's kind of boring. And not something you really need to watch. Anyway, let's go and sleep. And, here's my... In fact, I'm just going to go break my bed quickly. And then try and place it the other way round somehow. No. Let's see if I can place it the other way round. So then I can sleep facing the painting. I mean, yeah, I think like this would work. Will it work like this? There we go. So then I can sleep looking at the, the strange things I've said in the chat and my brilliant world. And of course, when my brilliant world gets too big, well, I can't see it all in the map. Then the one thing you can do, you just surround the map with paper, and then it zooms it out a bit. Occasionally it crashes my game when I do it, so I won't do it inside of a video or anything, but that's basically how you do it, if you were wondering. Anyway, next, I need to go back down here and, um, I'll make a stone pressure plate, I think, because they look better. Surely I have some free of stone somewhere. I can't open a chest. There we go, I need to move stone. Oh, I've got a stone fish plate right here. And I think I'll just do a button for the other side. I've got some buttons here. That's good. They're not stone, but I guess it'll stop them from blending again too much. I mean, I don't want people to just, like, see the entrance way in. But I want them to just be able to, like, see the entrance way out. Anyway, here we go. Even though the door just opened straight away for them. Hmm. In fact, I'm going to change that. So then, um, I'll do it so that we do it this way. Nope. Not that way. This way. There we go. I'll place down the stone pressure plate here. I would like, I would do like a piston thing, but I only have one sticky thing right now. There we go, that's on the wrong side. Let's move this back over here. There we go. That's the first bit complete. Now, I think in one of, I think somewhere I'm just going to put an infinite water source. Hmm. Alright, I think I might do like a fountain thing here in the centre. This, this might look quite cool. Just kind of like, I don't have any stone. Um, let's do it out of glass. That's what I just like, glass in the bit, middle. And then water dripping down from all sides. There we go, that looks pretty good. Anyway, ceiling's a bit low, so I'm going to make the ceiling a bit higher and I'm going to expand the room a bit. Because this room's a bit too small. You can barely fit anything in here. 
I just need to put out my secret base. It needs to be impressive. I think I'm gonna do one room for like food storage and one room for yeah, there's gravel over there. I hate gravel. Actually, I'm really gonna hate the next update then, aren't I? I just like add some loads of different types of stone. Actually, I'm deciding like diorites and stuff. And I think it's like I think it's andesite, which I think might look pretty cool to build with. And also, they don't, it doesn't like turn into andesite cobblestone or anything, but you mine it, which is also helpful. And you can make polished versions of it. So I might try building with them when the update comes out. Hmm. Anyway, I think this room needs to be a lot bigger, so let's go and expand it a bit more. And then maybe we can do a bit more of this fountain. In fact, I don't like the fountain like that. I'm gonna be able. I'm gonna have to like waste the glass, but hmm. Actually, I don't know. I'll just quickly make an, a quick input water source somewhere. I'll just do it here, just so then I can get water whenever I like. I will make like a proper room for like an input water source later, but for now I just need to put it there. And then let's go and gather up all of this, or um, or not. And then let's go and make the ceiling higher. I want this room to be pretty big since this is like going to be the main control room and stuff. I'm going to have laptops in here and I'll show you how to make like a Minecraft laptop if you don't know how. It's not like a proper fully functioning laptop or anything but... Um, and I need to, I'll expand it this way a bit later. For now I need to go and fill in this bit here I think. I think this might be a bit... Oh, I don't want to waste any glass. This one might be a bit bigger and take up more space, but oh no, it's going to take up the door space, isn't it? Oh well, this corridor is going to be three blocks wide anyway when it's done. That doesn't matter. Let's keep going on with this. Build that, break that, break that, break that, break that. Break that, break that, break that, break that, that, and that. And then this, and then this, this, that, and that. There we go. Then we'll place that there. And then we'll get some more water from our infinite water source we made over here. And hopefully this is going to look a bit better. I think I might not, I think I know what might look even better actually. If I do like water underneath the fountain. Oh, my pickaxe is nearly dead. <sighs> oh, I messed up my infinite water source. You got, you shouldn't, you don't just like grab. I can't talk today. I'll go underneath the fountain like this and just break all of these. And now my pickaxe is dead. Brilliant. I'll just fill in the floor again. Hopefully it's not, I think I'll change it to like something later, but won't all be stone. But for now, my pickaxe is dead. Brilliant. What a perfect way to start. Let's go and get another pickaxe then. Or oh, make one. I've got a nearly dead pickaxe in here, but I think I'll make myself another one now, because I've got so much iron. Actually, that's a tiny amount of iron. But for my world, it's a lot. Because I like barely ever go mining, and when I do, it's just like, like the strip mining, not actually cave mining, not spelunking, as some people call it. Got any more mushrooms? I can't really see very well in there. I don't think so. I might move my mushroom farm into here later. Anyway, here we go. This looks good. And then I think all of these corridors are going to be three blocks wide too. That might make them look better. Ah, that's a bit of a problem. I thought that out later. I think actually main corridors will be four, three blocks wide and the others will be two blocks wide. I need to get some stone properly. I'm going to have to take out that gravel, aren't I? I don't have a shovel. Well, let's just do it. Just get rid of it. It's just gonna bother me otherwise. I hate gravel. It's like one of the worst things on Minecraft. 
I mean, sand, sand's useful because you can use it to like make, what's it name? Glass. Why would I forget glass? Yeah, you can use sand to make glass. But with gravel, apart from you getting like lint from it, it's pretty much useless. I mean, I can, you can make good paths with it. You can make good paths with stone and stuff. So, yeah, I hate gravel. Ooh, iron. Probably not a lot of iron, but we still need all the iron we can get on this world, really. I know I've got some iron, but it's not much. But we're going to gather all of this, even though it's probably going to make a big mess. Then we're going to take out these last bits of gravel. Why did they have this? Why? Why does gravel spawn in so big, so big chunks of things? Why is there like so much gra when gravel spawns? Why does it spawn so much of it at a time? Well, I thought it just be like diamonds. Like it, actually, actually, I did get like nine diamonds from one like piece of diamonds in one episode. <laughs> <sighs> Why can't gravel be like there, like diamonds? <sighs> oh well, it's not like it's gonna change, so I might as well get used to it. I really don't like having cobblestone here. It makes it look like I found a dungeon. I actually want to find a dungeon at some point. It'll make, it'll be able, it'll mean that I can make. My, I can't talk today. It'll mean that I'll be able to make a. Rather, rather effective mob spawner. Anyway, let's go and dig out these last bits over here. I'll just dig over here so I know where I'm digging to. There we go. Let's just dig out a tunnel over here like this. Join up with the other tunnel. There we go. Make it one block higher. There we go. And that gravel actually looks really ugly. I guess I could make some cool patterns out of it though, that might look pretty cool. I just made some cool patterns out of sand I mean, yeah, sand and gravel actually. That might look quite cool. But not for now. For now, I might just use paintings or anything else. Now, I need to bring some smooth stone next time. Making mob spawners underground is actually a lot easier than making them in the overworld. Because in the overworld they're like very resource demanding, while in while underground they just give you resources basically for building them. Anyway, let's go expand this way a bit more. Because we haven't really expanded much this way. And it means I'm going to encounter some more gravel. There we go. That goes all the way up to there. This is ridiculous. Do I have a crafting table? That's one thing I definitely need in my secret base, a crafting table. Without that we're not really going to get anywhere, are we? And then I know what else I need. Some food. Let's go and eat this. And then... I think I'll go and make myself just a stone shovel. Just to speed this up. Because otherwise it's going to take ages. And I don't like things taking ages. That's me. I might make some like cool redstone stuff in here. Just like stuff I wouldn't normally make in Minecraft. Just like stuff that you don't need but looks pretty cool. I might do that. But there just has to be so much gravel, doesn't it? I wish diamonds spawned in groups like this. That would be cool. Anyway, let's go and clear up the last of this gravel. Why is there so much of it? <sighs> Anyway, let's clear up all of this and then we can start building some stuff. Because I like building, basically. Yeah, I like building. I like building a lot. And there's actually loads of flint. I'm getting like loads of flint from this, which is pretty cool. Do we ever need to make flint and steel? Which I've already got on me. I'll be able to, even though I've already got one on me. Oh, don't break that glass, don't break that glass, no. Then let's go and fill in the ceiling. It looks like one of those natural caves. It kind of looks like I've just dug in for a natural cave system here. There's so much gravel there. Why would there have been so much gravel there? Um, anyway, 
that's all the gravel gone, so my pickaxe just broke. Let's go and continue this. It actually looks it's looking pretty good right now, with the exception of like this massive hole. Let's go and fill all of this in because this is the edge of the room. And then I think over here we're just gonna have another big corridor leading out of it. So about here, this will be the exit. There we go. Just so we don't end up blocking us off of anything. And then once we've done all this, we can start adding in some laptops. I'm just gonna use normal stone pressure plates because iron pressure plates are just too far. And if you don't know how to make a proper laptop to Minecraft, well, not proper laptops, but just like kind of look like laptops. So, oh, you'll find out shortly. This video's been going on for quite a while now. I might have to end it soon, but I don't really need to worry about it now. <laughs> anyway, let's continue making all of this. I think I've nearly joined up with where I put before. Yep, there we go. And then we'll go and break all of these stone on the ceiling. Just one more layer outwards. And then I can start doing some more interior. And then after this, in the next step I do it, I might go and like build some mob spawn or something. That'll be pretty cool. I might actually finish off that kitty cat cafe place. What is no, I think I just finished that off outside of an episode because otherwise it's just never gonna get done. Yeah, we'll do that. And it's actually look perhaps I should have done it a bit further back in the room. Oh well, it's too late now. Anyway, I need to go up to the surface and get some wool to make some paintings. Cause paintings are awesome. Anyway, let's go all the way up here. I could do an art gallery, I guess. That might look cool. And it's still night time. Or has it been a whole night? There's item frames. There's a piece of wool. And I've got a few sticks, but not enough. Um, I've got some wood, so I should be able to make some more sticks for this to be enough. Um, no, I need one more. Just one more stick. Let's make some wood. I've been on like a big wood cutting trip. Um, so, yeah. anyway, where is where's the wool? There we go. And do I have anything cooking? Yeah, there we go. Fifteen steak now. And then let's go and take some of this glass, which I don't particularly need in there now. It's finished with smelting. Um, let's put in some cobblestone. I need to get some cobblestone smelting really. So that I can make some smooth stone. I think I'll just clean it up a bit outside of the episode, just make it look better and stuff. Just stuff that you don't really want to see in vid my video. Anyway, so we need to get back to business. Let's go and. Okay then, so. Oh, I probably shouldn't turn that all into wooden planks, that's a bit much actually, but. Hmm. Too late now. So, I need some chairs, I'll do that, 40 chairs, that again is probably a bit too much, but let's just go for it. Then, we'll make, like, no, you are not facing the wall, you are facing the desk. There we go, and we'll do one here, one here, one here, and one here. Then we'll go and place this down, this down, this down, and this down. There we go. And then we're going to have somebody sitting at the crafting table. Just because. Because I can. And then the corridor is going to be three blocks wide. So we'll do another chair here, and another chair here. Then we'll go and do another one here. Here, here, and here. There we go. And I don't nearly have enough paintings, I've just realised. Oh well, it's not like I'm going to have not enough wool. I've got a massive sheep farm. If I had friendly animals on all the time, you'd be able, you'd know. 
no va a usar esto. It definitely no va a usar esto. Anyway, all these paintings seem to be small ones, which is all. Why did you have to do that? Why? Just be a small painting! Get. Come here! No! Uh, uh, I said small. Do you understand the meaning of small painting? All these other paintings seem to. There we go. That's better. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go and end this video here. I hope mainly because I'm liking a bit, even though I'm using Optifine. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to tidy this up a little using smooth stone and stuff outside the video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And actually, I'm, I think I might bring like the enchanting room down here too. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And goodbye.